Okay, what we're going to do here, I can't get this light out of the way. I'm going to just do a quick test video here and do uh, the famous Y2K bug. I don't know. There's conflicting information over whether the Y2K was named that because of it was developed around the year 2000, or the Y2K means yarn two knots. I've heard both. I've heard both descriptions of where it come from, and it really doesn't. Who gives a shit? The deal is, is this is probably the absolutely the number one best egg pattern that I've ever fished. I've caught a buttload of big fish on it, and it's a kick butt sight fishing fly. If you like sight fishing, it's easy to see. And uh, you can literally watch this fly as it goes down the stream. And uh, you can watch it go right in the fish's mouth. This is pretty cool. Almost cheating. Anyway, I use a, uh, oh, what's up? Tungsten, gold tungsten bead on it. And a number 12 dry fly hook. I like the the uh, thin wire of a dry fly hook on them. I usually fish this on 5X tippet. Anyway, make a little thread ball behind the bead. Run it up. And then when you get up here, if you, I don't know how well this video is going to turn out, but there's a, right here, there's a, I'm leaving like a little trough in the thread. You can see that right there. That's going to be my main tie-in point of this thread, of this yarn. It's going to kind of help lock it in place. Once you get it up there, I almost forgot. I usually always do a little whip finish right here, and I don't know why. But uh, I've got it in my head that it keeps the... Uh, it keeps the yarn from spinning around the hook that much. I don't know if it does or not, but it doesn't hurt anything, and I don't mind taking the extra steps, so I just do it. I take my yarn and I split it in half like that. I've got on this one, it's uh, orange and yellow McFly foam. Actually, I think the orange is called something else, but whatever. Stick it right over the bead like that and pinch it down. Take a couple turns around, lock it in. Give it a good tug every time I come around. That kind of seals it up tight. Pull it out a little bit. Pretty quick and easy tie, and it's a. Uh, like I say, this is. It's a really good fly. A lot of people don't like fishing egg patterns. I really don't either. To be honest with you, but. There's no denying that the damn thing works. I was down Bennett the other the other day and some fish laying in a fast run. I couldn't get them to take anything else. This thing here, I just throw it out there and kind of tight line it, watch it watch it go down the stream, and uh, the fish just suck it up like candy. Anyway, there you have it. That's pretty much uh, all there is to the tying part of it. The finished product is ends up being kind of a cone, a conical shape, cone shaped. I'll trim some of that off of there. My scissors are kind of sucking. I need to either sharpen these or get out a better pair. that stuff up there and uh, kind of distribute it around the hook like so and then trim it off right even with the the back end of the bend of the hook these things will kind of pull apart after you catch a few fish on them and uh, I used to take a lighter when I get done get it to this point right here and I'd take a lighter and then just real quickly singe those ends um, to help keep it from coming unfrayed so easy. But then I uh, 
Got in a hurry one time, just had to tie up a bunch of them and just didn't mess with it and went fishing the next morning and and I noticed that it just really didn't matter. If they start getting frayed up and stuff like that, uh, you can nip nip the crazy wild strands with your nippers or whatever. If you have to, it actually really doesn't matter. When it gets all fuzzy and half tore up is when it really gets good. But anyway, that's it. Uh, there's something way to hold it with so you can see it a little better, but that's all the mount uh -huh. that's all it amounts to. Tungsten B is kind of heavy little booger. On a 5X tippet, it uh, the tippet kind of holds it up, and you can you can tight line that thing right down into a fish's face, and uh, as long as it's not as long as you're not pulling it through the water and it's not dragging real bad, that thing will catch you a buttload of trout, browns and rainbows alike. So anyway, that's it. The big time Y2K bug, gay as it may be, that's it. Catches fish. <laughs>